welcome to another episode of I Demand a Homestead. Today, what we're going to be talking about is one of my favorite organic sprays to control insects on fruit trees. Um, I have another video where I kind of posted my kind of fruit tree spray schedule um, about which, which sprays I'm using when. This one is going to talk about one particular product, which is called Surround. Surround is basically something called kaolin clay, which is a very fine clay that they use kind of to make um, cosmetics and also when they use to make porcelain, um, that kind of thing. So what it's really good at here in Canada is it's really good at in colder climates um, in reducing the amount of insect pressure on my fruit trees. Specifically, I use it to try and reduce um, leaf rollers, um, apple maggot, um, codling moth, and then also the, the nemesis, which is the plum curculio, which I think I said correctly, which goes after obviously the plums, but also goes after pears as well. All right, so this is what the bag looks like, Surround WP from Novasource. Um, if you live in the States, you'll be lucky enough to be able to just buy this. Um, I, here in Canada, you can't buy it unless you're an apple grower. Um, so I had to order it from the States, it was a little bit more expensive, but that's okay because this stuff's totally worth it. Um, if we kind of look inside the bag, you can kind of see it. It's like a really kind of fine, fine white powder, okay? My chickens are going to come visit us while we're doing this because they have to know what's going on, okay? So in order to apply this, hello guys. Um, in order to apply this, you're going to need a fruit tree sprayer that is able to um, produce really fine droplets, okay? So for that, you're going to need either a backpack sprayer like I have, or any kind of pressurized sprayer will also work. Hello, chicken. How's it going? Hello, Henrietta. Here's Henrietta. She's a very friendly girl, hey? Yeah, hi. Hi. Okay, so um, those are the things you're going to need because it needs to kind of coat the leaves and coat the fruit in kind of a white chalky powder and that is what um, prevents the insects from recognizing this as the right place to lay their eggs or to kind of start um, eating your fruit or your or your leaves. Um, it also reduces bird pressure as well because again they don't recognize it as stuff that they should be eating. So okay so now we're going to mix our surround which you can kind of see is this kind of white powder, right? Like that. And we're gonna mix this at a rate of 500 grams for um, 10 liters. So that's about a pound um, for about three, two to three gallons, two and a half gallons, let's say, if you're doing American Imperial stuff, which I can't convert as well. All right, and just keep stirring it kind of consistently as you're pouring it in. I'm going to give this another stir just to make sure that it's really well mixed. Get rid of any clumps. And then I'm going to pour it into the sprayer. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a coating on until we kind of get to the point where the leaves are dripping, but just starting to drip, okay? Uh, we want to try and apply, uh, apply it nice and evenly and then we're going to let that dry for about 24 hours. All right? So let's get started. Okay, so now we've had um, one coat of our surround that has um, had a chance to dry. And now what we're gonna do, so that's been 24 hours, and we're gonna do another coating of it. So two coatings of this round should be enough to give you that nice kind of white chalky appearance for all your, your trees and berry bushes, um, that that will give them the protection that they need, all right? So let's get that done. <music> should look like after you've done two coats of your surround okay and it's dried so this is uh, the next day so if we come in nice and close you can see they're pretty chalky looking right there's the fruit 
and it's covered in a nice kind of relatively uniform layer okay and um, then what I'm gonna do is if we get a big rainstorm I am going to um, put another coating of this spray on all right if, if there's enough rain to kind of actually rinse it off but the nice part about this clay is it's actually pretty sticky so it would take pretty heavy rain to rinse it off all right so this will be good and I probably given the size of the fruit um, I probably won't need to do another application because most of the insects will be done their reproduction by the time this stuff washes off and I really kind of want to have enough time for it to wash off because obviously it's going to be covering my apples and I and all the other fruit and I want there to be enough time for that to wash off two big plum trees as well they were a bit harder to cope because they're so dense with foliage I need to thin them out and then I also did my gooseberry bushes all the way down it kind of looks like some kind of christmas commercial where everything's sprayed with like snow but it's it's actually this kale and clay stuff um, so thank you for joining me on another episode of i demand a homestead from our beautiful what appears to be a winter wonderland of um, fruit trees and berry bushes but seriously um, kale and clay or this surround stuff is great it's totally non-toxic the clay is actually edible um, and, and it's a wonderful alternative for other chemical sprays you might use. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to press the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that that way you never miss another one of my videos. And we'll see you again next time. All right, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.